Today, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own pay stubs just with a credit card, step by step. This is a game changer for people who are self-employed, small business owners, and even freelancers. Whether you think about buying a car, a house, renting an apartment, having proof of income is a must. With what I'll be breaking down for you today, will make it a whole lot easier to get the lending that you need. What's up winners? My name is Nam. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things personal finance and credit. Start now by subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. So in this video, I'll try to break things down as simply as I possibly can. But if you still have some questions, feel free to reach out or just leave a comment below and I'll try my best to get back to you. Now, let me explain who is this exactly for. This is gonna be for small business owners that need to produce pay stubs so they can get the lending that they need or need to free up cash expenses and want to leverage credit to scale their business. First, let's talk about lending. We're talking about loans, mortgages, renting an apartment, and pretty much anything that requires you to have proof of income. A few other YouTubers have covered this topic, but they really didn't get into the nitty gritty of what needs to be done for you to actually do this. If you are a small business owner, then you know all too well of how difficult it can be to get lending. Because lenders, they label you as high risk. And most of the time, they will require you to have at least two years of tax returns before they even consider lending to you. On the other hand, if you were just to start a job as a W-2 employee, just having a few pay stubs is usually enough proof to show that you have steady income to approve you for lending. Pay stubs is just essentially a report card for your earnings. They show how much money that you make, how often you get paid, and what is taken out already for things like taxes. The second reason on why you may want to make pay stubs with a credit card is to leverage credit that you have to scale your business. For example, you have a construction business and you need to buy mission critical supplies, but your suppliers don't accept credit cards because it eats into their margins too much and only accept checks or wires. You as a business owner need supplies or you can't start a new job. And you might be waiting to get paid for the prior job. So this is a cash flow problem. You also can't miss payroll and payroll is a cash expense. Being able to put payroll on credit cards free up cash necessary expenses. If you never ran payroll, then this is usually how you pay yourself. You have a business, it makes money, that money goes into your business bank account and whatever money that you wanna pay yourself as a salary or pay, you would just move that money from your business bank account into your personal checking account. In case you have not switched into a business bank account and you're still paying yourself from a personal account, make sure you check out Novo Business Banking because there's no monthly fees, you can create free invoices, and there are a bunch of other neat features that can make your business run smoothly. So even if you transferred $5,000 every single month from your business account for the past few months, Banks and lenders do not care and they do not see this as consistent and a stable source of income. This is where you gotta act like a big company or corporation and run payroll. Now, before I move on, there's only certain types of businesses that will allow you to run payroll for yourself. This includes corporations or LLCs taxed as corporations. So sole proprietors and single member LLCs won't be able to do this. To implement this strategy, you need to be taxed as an S Corp or a C Corp. So before you do this, make sure it makes sense from a financial standpoint. There are plenty of benefits to either one, so talk to your accountant or tax planner to determine the best one for you. Now, to run payroll, you have to be connected with a payroll provider, which is a company that makes sure that you get paid for the work that you do. They will take the money from your business and keep some of the things like taxes, social security, and then drop the rest into your bank account. If you ever worked a traditional job where you get paid a W-2, you usually see a section where there's already federal or state taxes that are already deducted from your pay, and you would just get the difference. If you haven't been running payroll for yourself, you typically worry about taxes much later, or you can just pay them on a quarterly basis so you won't get hit with a huge tax bill when it's time to do your taxes. There are plenty of payroll providers, but to be able to create your own pay stubs, you need to work with ADP. They are probably one of the largest payroll providers and they might've ran payroll for you or for the previous companies that you work for, so they've been in this game for a while. What to think about payroll providers is that not only they will give you printed pay stubs, but they will also provide electronic pay stubs as well. This is actually the preferred method of many lenders or rental companies just due to the fact that it is harder to fake these types of pay stubs. So the whole reason how this is possible is they have partnered up with third-party providers such as Plastic and Zill Money, which allows you to run payroll with a credit card so you can create your own pay stubs. So even if your business is new, but if you're able to get a business credit card, you can start using that card to run payroll. Before I move on, as a disclaimer, ADP has currently paused a relationship with Plastique since Plastique had to file for bankruptcy due to the whole Silicon Valley bank fiasco. So depending on when you watch this video, Plastic may or may not be currently working with this technique, but I will show you how to do this 
with Zill money a little bit later. So first things first, you gotta make sure that you have the correct business entity. So it has to be a corporation or an LLC that's taxed as a corporation. Next is that you need to sign up with ADP. I do have a link down in the description below where you can plug in your info and you can actually speak with an ADP rep that can get you set up. This is a special link just for you guys because they will be providing you a white glove service. And on top of that, you get 20% off when you sign up with them. So once you have an account and it's up and running, this is when you need to integrate Zill Money into your ADP account. All the links will be down in the description. So once the account is open, you would have to subscribe to the Zill Money app from the ADP marketplace. Then you'll be redirected to Zill Money to sign up with your ADP credentials. Then from there, you would just simply run payroll as usual, and then you will be able to add your credit card and account details. The unique thing about Zill Money is that it allows you to use American Express. If plastic still works, you're only able to use Visa and MasterCards. So once you put in your account details, you would have to choose of how you want to run payroll. This can be auto process, partial charge, or each time you would decide. Then from there, it will show you how much your credit card is being charged and the fee it will cost. So this is just a quick overview of how to do this, but Zill has also made a full tutorial that you can check out, link in the description. Now to run payroll with a credit card, this does not come free. Zill Money will charge you a 2.95% fee, but the actual cost can be much lower than this. So let me explain how. For example, the fee is 2.95%. If you have a business credit card that offers 1.5% cash back and you have a tax rate of 20%, the fee of 2.95% minus 1.5% cash back rewards and also minus the 0.6 tax write-off, the actual fee is closer to 0.85%. So that is not too shabby to get more lending for your business so you can scale much quicker. When it's all said and done, the main reason of why you want to be able to run payroll with a credit card is to look more legit from a lender's perspective. If I see you get consistent income with pay stubs that is getting direct deposited into your bank account, this will make me a whole lot more comfortable than giving you some money. So from a lending perspective, if you want to get access to more money to scale your business, or you wanna use other people to make more money, this is definitely a route to take. On the other hand, if you wanna free up cash expenses such as payroll, then this would definitely come in handy, especially if you are running into cash flow problems, like if you're on net 30, 60, or even 90 terms. This will allow you to start projects much quicker or buy inventory in bulk so you can get greater discounts. If you have any questions about this whatsoever, let me know in the comments. Also, if you are interested in actually doing this specific play, make sure you sign up with ADP using my link down in the description to make sure you get the special rate. Also, if you wanna hang out with me some more, come check out these videos over here.